We now are tracking Tropical Depression 3 for the 5 p.m. advisory. Winds at 35 miles per hour. If it got to over 40, then it would be a tropical storm. Uh, but at this point, still a tropical depression. Could this be Chris? Maybe. The, um, the thought is it could potentially be Chris or it could be the other storm following Barrel's footsteps. But because this is a tropical depression, we now have a forecast cone on it. Impacts not really changing too much. It is expected to increase its winds to 40 miles per hour. So just to the north of Vera, Veracruz and to Teohotlan, I believe is how you pronounce it on the Mexican coastline. That's where we are going to see some impacts in the next few hours. So not only for the Caribbean, but also for uh, the eastern coast of Mexico. We do have tropical storm warnings that are now in place. This is also new with the 5 p.m. Eastern Time Advisory. It extends just to the south of Tampico, Mexico, and that was the town that took on the brunt or um, the center of low pressure, rather, of tropical storm Alberto, although for Alberto, the worst of the storm surge was to the north for the Texas coast. This will be an evolving situation, especially with the latest advisory we'll get at 8 p.m. Eastern time, but it is not the only storm that we are tracking. We are also looking at Invest 96L following Barrel, given a very great chance at seeing development into a depression or to a storm in the next two or seven days. The tropics are very active, and this is only June. Unprecedented activity, especially when we talk Hurricane Barrel. This will mean an active hurricane season ahead and we'll continue to have the latest updates throughout the coming months.